Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. Today I wanted to go ahead and share three fun math games with you that are all about comparing numbers. So I'm going to share three fun games. Let's dive in. Now to save some time, the first one I'm going to share with you is called Spin and Collect and I'm actually not going to share it with you because I already did a video about this game. I will go ahead, I'll put a picture right here of what my thumbnail looks like so you know what video and I will link it with a card above. After this video, go ahead and watch this one, I'll also have it linked in the description, that way you can see how to play. Now, just to let you know, that game I definitely talk about as a number sense game because students are kind of spinning and they're collecting different numbers throughout, but at the end of it, they actually have a sum and it's a great one because once they kind of complete those 10 rounds, they will go ahead and compare the two numbers to see who wins. So there's a little comparison at the end and I wanted to make sure I shared that with you because it's a free game that I have. Now the next two I actually went ahead and made little game boards for them and they are completely free that you can grab down in the descriptions. So let me show you how to play them. The first game is called Collect and Compare and the game board kind of looks like this. So if you are familiar with my print and play math games or phonics games or sight word games, these are set up in the same exact way. I wanted to make it nice and streamlined and easy for you and your students. So with Collect and Compare, I'll go ahead and insert a video of me playing. But essentially what you're going to do is each player is going to start on their side of the board. So you are going to need a game piece for each player. Starting with player one, they will go ahead and roll the dice and move that many spaces. Now whatever they land on, they're going to go ahead and collect that many cubes. Player two will do the same thing. They'll take turns going back and forth. Now they will continue until player one gets all the way to the other side of the board and the same with player two. They'll keep going. Once they have reached that other side, they will stop. They will stack up their cubes and count how many they have collected and they will write the end totals down at the bottom. That is where they will go ahead and compare and whoever collected the most wins the game. Now this is a game I would definitely have students play more than once because it should be pretty quick and they can play over and over and over and different students can win each time. Now with most of these game boards from the print and play packs, I will usually actually laminate them. This is a great one specifically because there's not too much writing that students have to do on them, except down here at the bottom where they write their end totals. So this is a great one to keep laminated. And like I said, students can just keep playing and you can even show them how to insert those greater than, less than, or equal to signs down here when they compare those numbers. And the next one I have is called roll and compare. And again, I made a nice little game board for you and your students to go ahead. You can laminate this one if you want, or you can just keep printing them out. Totally up to you, whatever you decide, whatever works. For this one, again, there are two players. And for this one, you need two dice. I like this one because instead of just collecting, like spin and collect and collect and compare, this one students are doing a little bit of addition as well. Just like my last one, I'm gonna insert a little video here and I will explain how to play. So again, for this one, there are two players and player one will start. They will go ahead and roll two dice at, the, at a time and they will try to add the sum. Here they will write down what they got on roll one, roll two, and they will write the sum right there. Player two will go ahead and do the same thing and then they need to go ahead and compare those sums to see which one was larger. This is where I have them take a crayon and they actually color in the box of the sum who was larger. I just find that it's a nice visual way to see kind of, you know, which player won that round. And then students continue for all 10 rounds. At the end, they go over to the right and it says how many times did each player have the higher sum? So player one will write down how many times they have the higher sum, player two will do the same, and then they can go ahead and circle who was the winner. So throughout this game, they are adding and they're comparing sums for every single round and at the end, they have to go ahead and compare the winners again. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these games are set up in the same exact way as my print, play, and learn math games. I love them because for teachers, they're super easy to just print, the students play them, they're a lot of fun, and they are learning the whole time. Like I said, throughout these games, your students are continuously counting. For some of them, they're adding, but they are comparing numbers over and over and over again. So they're practicing that skill you want them to practice, and they don't even know it. 
it's great. So there are three fun math games for your students to go ahead and compare numbers. Now to grab those two games I went ahead and shared, there's a link down in my description. You will have to sign up for my email newsletter, but that is just a newsletter where I send out free games and activities and ideas every single week. So I hope you join me anyway. And go ahead, fill that out, and you will be emailed both games right to your inbox. And they will also have the directions there for you to go ahead and read as well. If you like these games, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's video. See you next week. Bye. Ignore all that. Talking too much. Let's try that again.